This Ridley O sponsored by Keen Vention Yard Info. It's a Keen Convention, you'll have to go. Are you the Peter Sullivan who called Daryl Perry the Free Stater a thug? Get away from me, Ridley. Antisthenes said, quote, Pay attention to your enemies, for they are the first to discover your mistakes. Unquote. New Hampshire State Rep Peter Sullivan here might qualify as an enemy of mine, and in doing so, he gives a lot more depth and provides some addendums to the Antisthenes quote. What I've learned from people like Sullivan, and from being in a political movement, and from having falling outs with, or fallings out, with uh, allies, I guess I've learned all the different levels of value that an enemy can have, and many of the different levels of liability that a friend or ally can be. Sinclair Lewis was the one who said, uh, quote, under a tyranny, most friends are a liability. One quarter of them turn reasonable and become your enemies. One quarter are afraid to speak, and one quarter are killed and you die with them. But the blessed are the final quarter, or I said, but the, but the blessed, well, I, I don't know if I'm reading this right, but it says here on this uh, page, izquotes.com, but the blessed are the final quarter, keep you alive, unquote. That must be a misquote. But anyway... The fact is that for a lot of reasons, uh, your enemies turn out to be your best friend in, uh, in an oppressive situation, partly because they uh, create sympathy for you by oppressing you, partly because most of them are just too far away from you to do the kind of damage that a close person can do, also because you can never really be accused of betraying them. They're your enemy. When I'm out of town, I sort of have this expression, I miss my enemies. But there's another relevant expl ex or, uh, uh, quote or uh, saying that is relevant all year. Being a good enemy is even more important than being a good friend. Maybe because there's no situation in which you reveal your true self quite like uh, a situation where you're fighting someone. The person who knows you best, in a sense, is the person who fights you. And so that's the, ch the chance where you can be your best, where what you are presented as is believed. A, a boss, for instance, may not believe anything that you say to him because he may think you're kissing your, his backside. Uh, a cop who, are, who you are friendly toward and who is friendly toward you, well, they may tend to look at you with a little bit of a jaundiced eye because they may think you're just being nice to them because you're afraid of them. But the way we treat our enemies in open conflict, it's almost by nature transparent. It's the most important thing we do. And personally, I think it's the most fun. You know, there, there's just there's so many more options when you're dealing with an enemy than when you're dealing with a friend. Like I said, a friend, I, for instance, if a friend tells me some piece of news, you know, in confidence or even in a gray area between confidence and pu publicity, I cannot take that information directly to the public generally unless I sort of ask them permission first. I can't walk up to a friend, especially on private property, and stick a camera in their face and ask them a harsh question. I can't make a lot of hits on YouTube <laughs> off of a friend. I can just be their friend. I can't put my guard up easily. I can't easily raise public concerns about their behavior without being perceived as backstabbing. And again, this applies not just to friends, but also to allies, political allies, like other people who are free staters. Unfortunately, I don't think most people have absorbed this concept, and they think that as free staters, their primary goal should be to, you know, sort of bunch up in some form or fashion with other free staters, as opposed to going out there and besieging the enemy in an honorable way, proving themselves to be good enemies, acquitting themselves well in civic conflict. And that's what I urge you to do. You know, get to this state house, get to your local house of government or to federal related events and be a good enemy against your oppressors making them squirm explain obfuscate reconsider withdraw hesitate and ultimately shake their head in grudging admiration at your persistence that's Ridley O sponsored by Keen Vention Yard Info. It's a keen convention, you'll have to go.
Only 50 bucks held near the peak of leaf peeping season in a place that's fascinating even without its natural beauty. The purpose is to focus discussion on New Hampshire freedom activism. Keen vention, yard info. It's a keen convention. You'll have to go.